Hello everyone, welcome to Data and Information Management. In this lecture, we want to talk about uh, getting more, more than a simple columns. Uh, in this lecture, we introduce some data types in, supported in the MySQL and uh, how we can convert one data type to another data type. Okay, let's get started. So, we have expression uh, versus the columns. The column means just we are using the column that we have inside of the tables of the database. Uh, the example, for example, uh, in the table of the customers, we have customer first name, customer last name, customer birth date, customer zip code. All of them are the simple columns. But sometimes we need to do some operations on the column. For example, we have the date of birth of the person and we want to extract the age of the person. So we have to do some operations, some calculations. So basically, we call them in the general term, we call them expression. So expression is just some form of the operation that involves some numbers. We can have the character strings and the date and time. So we do some operations based on the columns that we have inside of the tables. In terms of the character strings, um, like the first name, last name, because we use characters, uh, we call them character strings, like the first name, last name, address, all of them are in the category of the character strings. In, in the expression also we can use uh, some columns, the data is stored in the columns plus constant values or combination of the both. For example, we want to raise the salary by 2%. So in this raising the salary, we are using the current salary of the personnel that is stored in one column called salary. And then uh, we use the constant value of the, for example, 2% to increase their uh, current salary. This constant values, uh, we call them literal values. So the constant values are the, or literal values are the fixed values that we apply in the expression. And this expression, most of the time, uh, we use for what if analysis. For example, we want to know if we raise the price of the product by, by 5%, uh, what is our income, for example. So we can do some kind of the operation and uh, what if analysis to get uh, the answer for that. Uh, other example of this is, for example, we have some uh, classes in the database of the scheduling, database of the classes or school. We have, for each classes, we have a start time, end time, and then based on this start and end time, we can get the duration of the each class. So the difference between the end time and the start time is the duration of the class. So this is another example of the expression. And then in the bowling example that we have, there is a handicap score and the raw score of the each bowler. So we can get the difference and uh, that's also another example of the expression. In the another database of the sales that we have, in the database of the sales, we can get the total value for each item by multiplying the price and the number of the available items in the stock that we have. So we are doing another term of the expression. So any use of columns multiplied by numbers or subtraction of two different columns, summation of two different columns, we call them as an expression. Now, let's talk about the data type in the SQL. We briefly before mentioned in the previous lectures when we create a database and the tables. But in general terms, we can classify the data types in the SQL into five categories. The first one is the character types. For example, first name, last name, address, those that they need 
uh, you need to type the characters like the every letters every numbers that you see on your keywords all of them are called characters so for example your first name last name address these are the most uh, obvious example of the character data type for representing this character data types we have char and varchar sometimes you may hear char or varchar both is uh, uh, both are the pronunciation that you can hear in the literature so and you can see there is a number n char n varchar n char n means that the length of the data type you are putting is a n the difference between a char n and varchar n is that char n is a fixed so if you length if you are defining the length of the column the data that you can enter is 10 and you provide the data equal the length of data equal to 5 then the remaining 5 characters are automatically filled by a space so SQL does some operation and fill the re remaining space by the remaining space by the space characters or white white characters or blank character so it fits all the data to specific number of the n that is that provided by the user but that char n is uh, a little smaller than this so whenever it when you provide n it's not necessary to be exactly n you can store less than n so varchar is a more efficient way of storing information so whenever you have uh, uh, the val uh, so whenever you have option of the char and varchar it's better to use a varchar in a small database you may not see the difference but whenever the database becomes larger that has a uh, efficient way of storing space and uh, most of the time it depends on the data type but if you have a address it's better used to uh, 255 and if you have a name and first name and last name 25 uh, most of the time the first name and last name are not longer than 25 so you can use uh, 25 now we have numeric values for the numeric for example the price of the items, the the distance between two cities. These are these are the numbers that we can store in the database. For the numbers, we have two type of numbers. We have exact versus approximate. Uh, the, the the difference between the exact and the approximate is that in the exact numbers, all the numbers have similar structure the precision is same but in the floating or in the in the approximate numbers the the precision is not exactly the same for all the columns for all the rows in the column for the exact numbers we have integer versus decimal you can use int and also you can use int inside of the parentheses and that means the length of the uh, numbers could be vary up to n. So n, and that's the integer number. For example, uh, integer 1 means uh, we are generating the numbers between uh, 0 to 9. So all the numbers that uh, in this range. And then integer ten, 2 integer 2 means we are generating all the numbers between 0 to 99 and so on. then the another type of the exact numeric is the decimal and for this function for this data type we have to provide two input m and d uh, this means that the length of the numbers can be up to m and uh, after the decimal the precision that we have is to uh, is d 
For example, in the example that we have here is a decimal 5 comma 2 means that the length of the numbers could be 5 and the, the precision after the decimal is 2. So the range of the numbers that this support is minus 999.99 up to uh, 999.99. The approximate numbers uh, uh, we have floating and the real numbers. So uh, similar to the decimal, they have two uh, inputs, M and D. M is the length that uh, M characters can fit, and then D here represent the maximum number of the digital that they can get. In the decimal, that's forced to have a D digit, but in the floating and the real, they are not uh, forced. In uh, another data type that we have is a true-false. So, for example, uh, uh, the data could be, for example, is larger than something. For example, the price is more than 10, then it's, we can define it as a true and false. So, Boolean is a representation of the true and false. Another data type that we have, and uh, it's a little complex comparing to other data type, is a date time. So this date time uh, has the the in the type of data that we use to represent date, time, and the time set. So date is the date that we are, uh, for example, today is a, for example, uh, you're going to see more examples. So we represent the date of the operation that we have, like the birth date or higher date. Those kind of information can be represented as a date. Time is the time that happens. Uh, uh, watch with, with what time of the day the operation has happened. And time step is a combination of the date and time. So we have a information about the date and time. So, for example, when you do buy stuff from Walmart, you can see uh, there is a time stamp on your receipt. You can see the date as well as the time that the operation has happened, the purchase uh, of the material that you did. You can find it on your receipt. So sometimes uh, we will talk about uh, more about the date and time and how we enter this data and time to the uh, database. When we want to change one data type to another data type, we have to use a function called cast. So cast is a function that converts a constant values or the value of the columns another to into another a specific data type so that means there is some restriction uh, when you want to convert uh, some values uh, some data type to another data type that we have to follow so here let's review some of the rules when you have a data and you want to convert to another type that uh, has a maximum size smaller than the current data then that system is going to truncate. So that means it's going to make it uh, fit to the size that you have provided. For. And the data that you have, it should be convertible to the target data type that you have. So this is a rule that we have to uh, follow. For example, you cannot convert the Canadian zip code to a number because it has a letter characters and letters inside of the Canadian zip code. So, and if the data is not feeding the, to the data type that you are providing, then you are going to get the unexpected result. So, that's the uh, hint that you have to carefully study what you want to change and which data you want to convert. So, if you have a number with a decimal and you want it convert to the integer, then then 
the numbers of the, the decimal will be cut out so that sometimes is going to create problems so so you have to be very careful about this changing and um, truncation or the rounding is depends on the type of the database that you are using in the behavior is different in the MySQL than in the Microsoft Access. So the cast function is simple. You have a cast, open the parentheses, and then the value that you want to change it, then we have the keyword as, and then the data type that you want to change to it. For example, you want to do some operations here, and then you want to store it as a some data type that you have so this is a simple function you have a cast you open the parentheses you type the data that you want to change it and you want to change it to a data type that you specify here so that's a simple syntax but there is a some hint the target value that you have uh, supported in the mysql is it should be one of these it should be date so the date is a format of the date is in this way we have the four characters four numbers basically it has a represent to year we have a dash and then two that represent the month and dash two for the days of the year that we have so date is just year month and date date time Let's talk about the time. Time has uh, hours, minute, and um, uh, second. And uh, you can see the supported time is uh, uh, so this time means duration, not uh, 24 hours. Yeah. So that's the difference that we have to pay attention. So this time represents the duration and it has a hours minute and the second then we have a date time date time is a combination of the date that we just took it has a year that is four year four digit and then we have the months two digit two digits and we have the dates we have a days that has a two digit and then we have the hours which is the age that's the Two digit and minutes, two digit, two digits, and the seconds that it has two digits, and then this is a supported range that we have. So it start at the zero 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 and uh, up to twenty four hours. So this is the uh, hours that we have, and then we have the car type or the chart type. Then uh, for the numbers, we have the signed versus unsigned. It's not important which one you want to use uh, when you're converting the numbers if you're using a positive uh, it's better use unsigned uh, otherwise you need to use a sign so that's the before that's the difference between them and uh, they are different in term of the numbers the highest numbers that they can uh, fit in in the each row of the table so that's the only difference that they have so if you are if your number is positive just use the unsigned and then we have the binary which uh, binary type that we have them so in the SQL you can use the constant values which we call the literal values so we can have a character string literals which is a sequence of the characters and we have to put quotation marks, single quotation marks in uh, both sides of this string so for example if uh, here we have a this is a simple character string literal this is a sentence and you can see there is a single quotation before the sentence and one after the sentence so this is a way we are telling to SQL that this is a constant value, don't take, change it. And then if you have an apostrophe S, you need to put one more uh, 
string one more quotation single quotation before that so when you can uh, print this apostrophe s for example here the vendors you can see there is a double quotations or two single quotation name is and then uh, we have colon and one single quotation so this is going to be result of this one so if you type this and this so let's copy this to the MySQL and uh, see what is going to be the result so let's type select and then so whenever you want to print anything you can use a select so let's make sure we are putting two double code two single quotes and then uh, uh, select it so we put a comma semicolon after this and then let's run this so you can see here that uh, the result that we got is uh, the vendor s name coaster of s name is so this is a, a way that we can uh, print uh, uh, poster of s or a single quotation and then uh, so you can this is a general rules that uh, you can use uh, multiple of this and uh, uh, put them different uh, character strings literal together so you put a single quote at the front and uh, uh, another one at the end then uh, there is non-code characters and then you put uh, some different uh, two single co quotation and then add the second one and then so you are putting the combining different cons uh, literal together also you can uh, add the numeric literals numeric literals are the exact value that they are in term of the numbers so we have the numbers are the positive negative they can have a decimal they can have exponent simple uh, symbols or uh, other kind of stuff that we have so this plus minus means that we are adding some numbers together and then here we have a numbers that uh, we are uh, subtracting from another numbers and then we have another numbers here so these are the summation or subtraction of some numeric values that we have then here this e means exponent to power of the exp in the excel that we have and this capital e means the uh, 10 to power of whatever you put here so e plus and 2 if you put here then that means you are taking e to power of some numbers here if you put capital e this e plus minus a number that means uh, you are multiplying by 10 times uh, plus minus of this number so e to power of 10 uh, becomes uh, e to power of 2 becomes 100 so let's show a small example let's back uh, let's say we have 1 e plus 2 so let's see the result of this number so let's clean up all this and if you run this you can get 100 all right so this is a way that we can deal with the numbers in the mysql also we have a date time literals that we have a date which is the in the format of year month date and then we have a time that shows the duration so we have eight, eight hours minutes seconds and so on and we have the time minutes so we can uh, we have to put all of these values inside of the single quotation so this is a rule that uh, we have to follow uh, let's say if you want to show the data of the for example the starting 2018 01 uh, 25 this means the uh, Jan January 25th of the 2018 so if you run this you're gonna get this value so for it doesn't matter what the value you are using for the literal value for constant values 
of the date, time, and timestamp, you have to put the single quotation at the front and the single quotation at the end. Otherwise, you are going to get error. So, if you remove the single quotation, the MySQL doesn't understand it. So, it uh, subtracts all the numbers and uh, shows you a number uh, that is a subtraction of this numbers gives you a, another number so that's very important you have to put a single quotation that that tells to the MySQL that this is literal and do not do any operation so you know this becomes a date that yeah similarly for the uh, data stamp you need to put exactly the same format so this becomes the literal value in the so this is the time all right so this becomes 22 let's say so this becomes the january 25th of the 2018 at 20 at the uh, 22 hours and the one minute and 26 seconds so this is a way that we use this exact values so whenever you have a literal value of the date, time, and time step, you have to put this quotation mark, the single quote before and end, at the end of the text. Otherwise, you will get different values. And then uh, the second operation that we have, or second expression that we have, we, we have concatenation, we have mathematics you just saw a little introduction to the mathematics and then we have a date and time arithmetics concatenation means you are putting two different columns you are combining two columns and putting under one column that we call it concat or concatenation the mathematical expression is that you are doing addition subtraction dividing or all kind of the stuff on the numerical numbers for example you are multiplying the number of the items times the price so you are calculating worth of each item that we have inside of in the stock so that's mathematical expression then we have a date and time arithmetics this date and time is a little complex but Basically, we can uh, calculate the dur duration of the operations in the database that we have. For example, what's the starting day, starting time, and what's the ending time of the class? And then by subtracting these two values, we get the duration of the class. So uh, we have um, addition and uh, subtraction of the date and times that we will uh, cover in this lecture so the concatenation as we just said is the combining two or more columns and representing as a uh, one new column for the the standard the SQL standard uses uses two vertical bars as a concatenation operator so whatever you see in the textbook you, this sign the double vertical double vertical balls that means there is a operation so here if you type Texas which is a literal value so we have to put it in the quotation single quote before and the single quote after then we have a double bar vertical ball uh, vertical bars and then we have a double code which is a single space so this is a space between these two and then we have another vertical double bars and then we have the space we have a commerce so this means that we are combining this three elements together so let's uh, type this and see what will happen in the MySQL all right 
so this is a space and uh, if you run this you get zero mm. so you you will see later that in the th this double bars is a standard but how it's implemented in the MySQL is we have to use the text con concat that we will introduce but you can do another way you can consider this one as a literal value so you can put comma for for timing and uh, print this value so if you put comma between these three literal value you're gonna see each of them they are put it in the different columns but if you want to put all of them we can um, use the syntax that we had uh, for the putting different uh, literal values so we put one comma one quotation mark at the beginning and then we put double quote and then we remove this and the space is the non-coded characters so we leave here and then we put two quotation mark after it then uh, we remove this and then we put uh, one character one quotation at the end to print this text so if you print this you get this value so you can put a uh, comma in between so that's we can see you uh, printed this values but we will talk about the concatenation that how we can com combine value of the two different columns two different uh, two character two columns of the characters together